Hey guys, it's Thursday again, so time for another 3 Minute Thursday. Today, we're going to talk about the crank angle sensor on the K20. Welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. Yup! I always hear this question over and over and over again. K20 crank sensors. Which one do I need? Which one do I want to use? Well, let me show you what's going on here. I have right here a crank angle sensor from a K20. And I have one here from a K24. And basically, they're very, very similar. They operate the same way. They're just made by different manufacturers. And because of that, they're keyed differently. You can see these sidebars are much lower on this one, and they're right in the middle on that one right there. That means they're gonna use a different connector. Another thing that happens is when you use a different connector, it also requires you to wire them differently. The wiring is not particularly difficult. I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a second, but it is critical that you have it wired properly for the connector you have. So let's start off with, if you have the one that has the centered keys, this is how it's wired. Blue, brown, yellow, yellow, black. That's how it goes. Now, if you are, let's say for instance, you had a K20 and you bought a K24, and now you need to change the positioning of the wires. Let me show you how to do that. So right now we're gonna take the one that's keyed low and we're gonna we're going to wire it properly. So let's start off by taking out our lock. Pries up nice and easily. We'll take the other one out of the one with the wires. We're going to pretend like this one's actually on the harness. Okay, so when switching from this connector to this connector, everything's just going to move over one position. What's happening is blue is going to go in the middle, brown yellow is going to go over here to the side, and yellow black is going to go into the number one position. So let's undo them real quickly easy to do you just need a one millimeter screwdriver or a tool with a basic end on there that is sharp you slide it in there lift the pen and you can pull that right out back so as i said our blue is now going to go into the middle so we're just going to slide that in there let's see goes in locks into place next we're going to do our brown yellow wire It's going to go over here to the side. And last, the yellow black is going to swap sides. It's going to go to the far side. Out. Next one's in. Now we put our lock back in the front. And it slides on and is wired correctly. Another way to avoid this, of course, is when you switch engines, go ahead and take your crank angle sensor out and swap it over the new engine. But if you didn't do that, if somebody else hauled off the motor or you bought a car without a motor, this is how you do the switch. And of course, it works going back the other way as well. So again, going from K20 to K24, the blue shifts from the side to the middle, the brown and yellow goes from the middle to the side, and the yellow black one comes all the way back over to the far side. Really easy to do. Uh, make sure that if your connector doesn't go on to your crank angle sensor, that you get the right connector and wire it the correct way. Anyway guys, that is your 3 Minute Thursday. Thank you very much for joining me. Please think about liking and subscribing. We're on a big push to try to get up to 100,000 subscribers and we need your help. Thanks for uh, clicking on us. We'll talk to you later.